I'm going to add uh, a few interesting details about situation in Belarus I have experienced with uh, Mr. Lukashenko in 2003. It's what George Bush referred to me as he will not finance uh, my fights in Belarus anymore. Uh, he referred to that as my specializing into fights in Belarus in uh, in a Belarus that's how and what George Bush referred to at least one year of fights in a Belarus now it wasn't all that easy to get Lukashenko the proper way uh, because the perception on the MK Ultra is different than in real world the perception on the MK Ultra is such that I don't know. They commanded me all the time on how I don't have a difficulty walk in a, in a rough terrain without getting injured. They give me some compliments in respect to different situations which they refer to uh, on how I managed to handle them exceptionally well compared me uh, I heard them comparing me to others who had at the same time great difficulties like you go hill climbing mountain climbing or something like that some people would fail so what I'm trying to do is give you an impression about time and space uh, you experience uh, orientation issues stability you experience under MKO traits all different from what you experience otherwise in real world so for me to say a uh, few KGBs managed to escape me. Um, I never got to finish the job the way I wanted to with them uh, when all this stuff started. And so I learned under MK Ultra, I started to develop the perception on how to grab the person in a such a way whenever I initiated attack that one would not escape and so that I would get basically what I wanted uh, on that struggle and uh, in the climax I reached I already knew how to do it was exactly with the Lukashenko so I rehearsed several times with other KGBs before I was capable uh, to really do the job as I did uh, with the Lukashenko. This is part number two. In respect to video I have posted about how it all ended in Belarus in 2003 let this be part two what is interesting is next to the politicians and I stated at third minute Hello, friends. this week we have a very very special guest one of the most iconic yeah, action stars immediately a bunch of people that <laughs> well bloodsport too i mean like that was uh, something uh, you had done want to get in in the world of politics uh immediately they involved people because it was always people some people some politicians got very excited in a certain countries in certain parts of the world about this so at no surprise Jean-Claude Van Damme ended up in Chechnya 
I was in church near many, many, many times. Okay, you can see his videos in respect to Russia. Um, I don't have any kind of respect for Jean-Claude Van Damme from the uh, political point of view. Um, I quite frankly think he is completely indifferent from Steven Chagall. Um, he thinks he knows about the politic, but this is just something I believe that, um, you know, it's part of whatever politic you know, is trying to give an impression and cash basically on on his views. Um, but what's interesting about this is when he said there were like 20 bodyguards that jumped when he was out with the Putin in 2007, I was there too. And um, I was, uh, I have no idea what exactly happened. Um, I, I, I don't actually understand what exactly I was very, it was, uh, he acted like really, really stupid. Like, like completely, completely idiotic. In a such an idiotic way, giving me like an impression that he's gonna do to Putin uh, at just about any time anything can do to Putin, uh, you know, giving me like, <clears throat> like a really idiotic idea about that he's capable of doing something and I really wanted to question, you know, what exactly this and that. It's just a really show off. That's what he is career is based upon that through my case literally got into Chechnya and you can see him right here next to Kadyrov okay and also to other locations with the Putin also in 2010 and so on and so forth He's got a tough talk, you know, with the Putin, not with the pussies and and stuff like this. I don't refer to anybody as a pussies. Um, I don't refer. I'm not a homophobe either. I I don't uh, I don't I don't go into any of the serious. But he greatly, greatly, greatly exhausted. He greatly, greatly. Um, exploited the situation, my situation in 2003 in Belarus, when inside of this interrogation room, uh, having three guys on the floor, uh, and the fourth officer would enter, open the door, see about what went on, uh, and would not even get in and called for backup uh, then they would get in all together this is how bad that thing was um, George Bush that he would no longer finance you know uh, fights but that's true uh, he did not take me one fight, nor two fights, to sharpen my ability uh, for a certain technique uh, that I exercise uh, when meeting Lukashenko. He took me quite a few fights before that knowing exactly what to use and what exactly not to use. I really sharpened, trained myself 
Yeah, I had a really sharp mind, I think. And so I knew not only the perception is different on an MK Ultra, but I was capable to assess my weaknesses uh, during an MK Ultra uh, so that I would finally achieve that maximum uh, result, maximum potential, which I did then. It wasn't just all that, that you would go out there and just do something, no. But now the strength under MK Ultra, as long as you are, you become determined to do something, uh, physical strength, no, I was wrong about this. It's really not reduced. Another thing is, now I understand Charles a little better. I do understand Charles a little better because Charles, you know, I resented him deeply one time is I was always so gentle to him, so nice to him, despite him being asshole repeatedly. Always so nice to these royals, really gentle to them. Uh, and really, really angered me when right here in Slovenia they, they told him, okay, so the two of you can just do this together and uh, the guy wanted to leave, a bodyguard wanted to leave the room and it was not once, it was also on other occasions I realized and uh, Charles would not let him. It, it, I really, really was hurt because it was my trust uh, that was hurt. So I realized that uh, the man did not trust me and um, that's that was like I, I consider that like a complete betrayal from my point of view I, I consider that uh, we are on a totally totally different pages from then now that did happen relatively late yeah, it did happen like after I don't know 15 years of MK Ultra, something like in 2010, maybe after he and Andrew screwed up already many times, but still, I never had any, any kind of violent tensions or something like that. I would never go and assault somebody just out of blue something like that in a belarus i did this stuff because i told him don't take me to belarus anymore you know and um they knew what they were doing and i think frankly americans enjoyed violence against me i think they observed quietly on the side um so then I had to explain myself in a different way. That was seven, eight years down the road of the nothing but violence, eight years down the road, nothing but beatings in, in the Belarus. Then I started beatings on my own. But this situation with the Charles, however, next to what i was told also they told me it's also why like this video that they actually do have the original video recording of this fight with the lukashenko uh, also tells me that charles is a paranoid you know is a paranoid but okay in this case uh, that's justified because that was really bad. Uh, watched the video over and over and over again. Uh, so I think that's how he developed his uh, uneasiness about being around 
next to me without anybody. Other than that, I had a royal saw at the time that would be around me alone. I mean, this was just, this is completely like, completely normal. Yeah, basically, the bodyguards from royals were afraid of my loyalty. They were afraid of me. Everybody was afraid of me because I was more loyal than the most loyal bodyguards. Queen, in fact, used me for a sting operation of bodyguards alone. You would not want to demonstrate or you would not want to do any kind of indecent acts in front of me at the Buckingham Palace. Any kind of uh, anything that you would gesture me, something like uh, that you don't like royal or something like that. Because I was more pro-royal than the closest bodyguards. I was more loyal. I can say than the lady who cared for Harry, who brought him up basically. I was more loyal than the most loyal guards that Elizabeth had around herself. I was absolutely trusted everywhere. Everywhere in their serenity, everywhere in in their private settings. It was a normal to see me in a canoe with Andrew paddling down the river. It was completely normal to have me anywhere because I never ever would uh, totally, totally dismiss any kind of acts of violence, anything like this. And, and as I said, there were a few guys sacked because of me, because of my loyalty. They did have cameras and stuff. Uh, and they, they had a problem with the royals and stuff and regarding those problems somehow threw me and before you know it was a fight verbal confrontation between them and me trying me out in all kinds of ways I declined and it was bad enough for others to take a note and those guys were gone never ever and that's why I, I was hurt I I was hurt in respect to Charles but uh, now I do understand better why no oh, so it was one of the issues that really really hurt me you know hurt me when men upon death of Diana, his wife, brought me to Miami two of his cups, saying to me that I would be next in line to take care of them in case something would happen to him. That's why. Maybe also that's why. Okay, that's all I wanted to say to you about this 2003 situation uh, in Belarus, okay? I just wanted to, to be in details about that stuff because it's worth So the video is out there. They do have this video. The video did circulate it out. They told me they have this video. Okay, well, I wish you all uh, a good day. Bye bye now, thank you. Um, there's one more thing I'm gonna do. This one here, this, this was recorded on September the 9th, 2021. And as I recorded this stuff here, here it is. Here's the date and time 
No, I don't think that that Jean Claude Van Damme is a bad person. I think I think he's a nice person. Um, he had me on the boat. He had me everywhere, uh, and I I didn't have a bad time with him. I didn't have a bad times around him. I think he's a nice person. Yeah, I like him. He's not a bad person. Um, uh, but he did exploit the situation, and um, for fact, I know so, that my video is out there, and Jean-Claude Van Damme, in my opinion, he got more than just um, small talk, and perhaps view, I think he's got that video also in a position that he's one of the people. I think they have that video. They bribed the video out of Belarus. They got it. They got it. Some people told me they have it. It would be fun to see that. It would be it would be good to see that stuff. All right. What exactly have I done? Okay.